When you first log into Broadcast Gorilla, you will be presented with a screen you can see now. If you are in another area of the site, just click on the administration link to take you back to this page. To start a conference, you either have the choice to plan a future conference or start an instant conference. I'll take you first through plan a future conference by selecting on the button displayed. The next page is where you need to enter all the conference information, starting with a name and description. Underneath this you have the option to save and rebroadcast a session for a later time and to show a participant list to all users. I'll uncheck both of these at the moment, so it will be a once-off conference and only the orators and moderators will be able to see a full list of participants. Now I'll scroll down the page to schedule and I'll enter a start date, start time, duration and time zone. Notice when I click on the text box, it will open up a calendar view where I can just select the correct time or date and then just select on the next entry. Once all the information has been entered, I can check the time left until the conference starts and then scroll further down to the next section. In content options, you have the choice of allowing audio, video, PowerPoint or YouTube streams. If you know that either you or the other participants have a slow internet connection, you can just select only live audio, as I'm demonstrating now. The next section contains billing information, and this is extremely useful if you want to charge people an entry fee before they get to the conference. Payment is done via PayPal, and you can also type or generate a promotional code. Now that all the information has been entered, I'll click on Save, and you can see now that the conference details appear on the screen. If you want some of the cells to be displayed in full text, just select and drag on the separator between the columns. Or if you double click on the separator to the right of the column, it will make an automatic adjustment for you. To edit an existing conference, just select the tools icon and then make the required changes. You can see here I've decided to allow all participants to see the list of users and I'll change the conference to be free entry as well. Now I'll save the changes to go back to the main page. To delete an existing conference, just click on the trash can icon and then scroll down to the end of the next page to select the delete button. Now I'll just demonstrate an instant conference by selecting on the start an instant conference button. This will take a few seconds for the room to be set up and then you will see this chat page. To let others know that this conference exists, just select on the text share which is near the top of the page and then decide which social media type you wish to use. If you want to send someone a direct email or message, you can just click on one of the options and then copy and paste the address link into your email or chat client. I've now sent this link to another person and you can see that Steph has now joined the conference. 